Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. I am excited as we're going for another scavenging side mission in the middle of the mist, so it is extreme threat level versus the Pandorans. We are going in with team number four, Bastard, Guy Aaron, uh, and Kit the Doubter, Isabella the Penguin, Sosa, Carlos, and Goofy Goober. Let's deploy the squad and kick it off. Good. We landed and we got a couple of crates over here. Bit of an interesting positioning. These are rather far away, so. One of the crates are immediately available. Not the best start. Just purely from a where is everything located type of standpoint. No rest for the wicked. We're trying to move as close as possible, really. Moving to position. Very nice. Let's get at least these. Um, Ready, few things. And kid, the doubter. Can't really jump far enough. That is really unfortunate. Don't want to spend too much time here. Oh, and we got company over here. Ugh. But I don't want anyone to be mind controlled. That would just be a horrible situation. So what we're going to do is maximum distance. Catch me if you can. Yeah, not great in terms of collecting a lot of crates, but. Very much feels like we're not in a good position here to begin with. It's one of those uh, situations where you were hoping for, let's say, two, three crates at the beginning just to completely plunder them. And then you realize, yeah, there are a couple of crates, but it's just too far away. Like over here, great, but I don't want to fight uh, through. Um, a siren and then like a bunch of additional enemies this is already bad enough Take, take, what's that by the way? Oh, that's fuel can, uh, canister for flamethrower. Channel open. Going out with two crates instead of three. I don't want to deal with mind control. It's not worth uh, their hassle. Specifically not with the six-man team. We're better off not wasting any resources. No shots whatsoever. 
just get the two crates and call it a day. Might be a bit of a too conservative play. Yes, we've left quite a bit of resources actually on the table. But at the same time, my argument would be with six people, it is very easy to get bogged down. I've already seen eight, nine enemies in that map. And the moment that you're that we're getting mind controlled, a spiral of problems will start. We can't easily leave. And we're going to invest a lot of resources. Just let's look at it what it is. We got around, I don't know, 800 resources, 600, 650 resources. If you put all of uh, the material that we looted together. Granted, it's not great and I'm not going to like sugarcoat that that was a super successful mission. But it was not a bad one either. It's okay. I'll just take it as a bonus and not as a disappointment. Short double checking with uh, the... Yeah, Manticores, they definitely need stamina. Um... Put these guys into Phoenix Point and then Manticore 1 can just make their round. Yeah, they don't have uh, resources yet. Which kind of brings us to move up here. More trading. Uh, two for ten. Okay. Can do that. Moving over here. Pandorans will attack Mist Haven in 24 hours. Tell you what, we'll do the that mission and then we'll fly down. That should still be doable in 24 hours, right? Right. Yeah, I think we can, yeah, we can still reach that. Of course I could also fly over, but I think we're better off just going with the ancient mission here. And that's the main mission of today's episode. So we're going to start with that. Exploring down here. Whilst trading up here, I think there is nothing further to explore up here. Unfortunately, Alaska Snow currently does not yet have enough um, Scanning radius, so we're not seeing all of uh, the nasty things that are happening here. Just double checking with South America. We want to go with the satellite uplink, yes, please. And I think it was the second. So we have li living quarters, we wanted a second living quarter, right? Not food production, but living quarters. There we go. Good. So that would make South America, which is this base here. Good in terms of uh, just recovering soldiers. That would be our go-to base. This one here is fine as well, but bandits in Brazil. I don't necessarily need all too much here. Um, yeah, it does have a satellite uplink in the moment that energy uh, is here. Might need to do uh, mist repellers in both of uh, the bases. Just double checking. Satellite uplink. Yeah, we don't have the tech uh, if 
my memory serves me well. Yeah, no, we don't have that, so that'll happen. But before we're going into that, let's do a more interesting mission, which would be the Ancients. We got our prime team. Everything's good and ready. Everything's Gucci here. They are fully equipped, so might as well jump into the mission. Good. We have landed, and as always, potentially my favorite type of map. Those ruins. Like them. Like them a lot. Very good. Let's start. <laughs> Frenzied. Polly moves up. Moves up even further. Decides to throw a turret up. And give the guy a couple of just initial welcome uh, welcome taps. Okay, so rapid clearance into what is formerly known as a dash. And I think what is also known as another dash. There we go. One. Two. Okay, nothing my major. Haven't really found anything else so far. Grell moves over. Ranks moves over. I think inappropriate Murphy just waits here. And for now inappropriately stares into that direction. Billy G moves over. We have a really solid position here. I like that a lot. Uh, just double checking in case anyone comes from this uh, side. Strengths overwatches, Stilly G overwatches. Good. Overall, good first round. Decent. Bit of recovery here. A bit of recovery there. End of turn. Okay, so in terms of detecting enemies, I would say we're carefully moving forward. Drinks seems to me like someone who can do that. It's also currently hidden. There is the golem. Oh, 
Owen uh, moves up. I'll leave one of our melees behind just in case. Inappropriate Murphy moves up. And Euler moves up. Protects himself against that direction. Polly moves up forward. I would just wait and see what we're dealing with. Pincered. I don't like it. We're moving over. And over here. By the way, out of curiosity, you guys are no longer... Okay. Everybody should be frenzied. Good. Arm is back and repaired. We're going to heal next turn. Moving up. here uh, that's a bit too close for my liking <coughs> so Dilly Overwatches moves up. Oiler moves all the way over here. I just want to change sides. The ranks moves up as well. And Grell moves up. Good. End of turn. We definitely have triggered that one Ancient Guardian. Correction. Multiple ones. That one is triggered as well. Okay, well. We trigger them all. One word to trigger them all. Moves up. And kills. Fantastic. Well. 
I can tell you something, my dear friends. And that something is, we're going to get that guy down in just one go. One. Two. Three. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Hell yeah. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh boy, he's dealing a lot of damage. Nine. Ten. Done. Yep. With uh, the right abilities just a matter of getting them down good we're doing remote control here Heating up. All right, Dilly. Let's see what you got. That was not optimal. Murphy continues to hit. And let's try that again. Good, there is someone in the open and we're going to protect against this direction. JP moves away as well. want to go in too deep yeah see you can already see there is a second guy standing right next there so shadow realm waits for his turn closer ah, haven't seen that guy coming good end of turn
correction to people there. Correction, three, four people there. But we're not just charging in. Very good, we could dash up. Um, tell you what, we're running up. Ranks gets all the way over here, which means we have everything on up to there in range. Closer. Moves even closer. There you go. Onslaught moves over. this plus one two Straight up one. One. Two. Okay. We would have a reset here, but we actually don't need that. There are still enemies somewhere. <coughs> as well as we would be done by now. But yeah, we've killed almost everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let's move closer next round. We need another 
frenzy. <coughs> oh my gosh, what is going on? Okay, a couple of things. Number one. Let's repair the lid. Okay, we're recovering. An appropriate Murphy moves up. Did he actually take some overwatch over here? I would recover as well. Grell has full <coughs> willpower, so we're good. Okay, so Mealy Madness. It's never I, I would have never guessed that that is one of the strongest attacks. But boy was I wrong. Doesn't require ammunition. Super good. Also, uh, hit one damage and with that one AP torso. Oh my lord. Almost everybody's overwatching. Yeah, but we're still waiting for the last enemies, and I wonder where they are. It would be typical for the game to have one of uh, them kind of down here somewhere. Almost feels that they are always at the worst possible location. Good, one person goes over here. The other person over there. Oila moves up. And to be fair, inappropriate Murphy can move up as well. End of turn. Still nothing. Hard to believe, I know. about to say how is it possible that we haven't found anyone yet good 
could move on over because next turn <coughs> we will need a little bit of a speed up. Up. I like at that game that you uh, in this game you can take cover on stairs, which is semi-realistic. I mean they block line of sight, so being able to like in the direction of uh, stairs take cover is actually something that is very sensible. I don't like how XCOM typically did it, which was a super convoluted system. Mega difficult to work with stairs in XCOM. Out of curiosity, not that it really matters, but uh, uh, do you guys react to paralysis at all? I would guess the answer is no. I would guess the answer is no. So Murphy moves up and we're definitely going to frenzy everyone. Easy. Overall easy. I wonder why we get so little experience overall. Like 24? Are you kidding me? Seriously. That's 20 missions until he even gets one level. Well, at least we're getting more routine uh, with the uh, with the ancients now. This was the first time where I didn't really break any sweat, and it was just straight up play it, kill everything, done. Reward of a thousand. Good, and I think we wanted to move straight down here. Fantastic, we've made contact with Murray as an Adrian Haven. Citizen Assembly is supposed to vote on contributing resource to our case, but significant chunk of the population appears to be busy enjoying some kind of or orgy. Our operatives are invited to participate <laughs> Should they be uh, interested? All right, go for it. Fuck it. The details of the event uh, remain to be private. There is no, uh, to be no lock of uh, which operators choose to participate. Later on, uh, the assembly of votes generously supports uh, the Phoenix project. All right, okay. <laughs> as if the world doesn't have enough uh, problems as is here. Okay, move on to here. Research complete. Nice, we got some new technology. 
Resistor Head, medium armor, poison damage is reduced by half, that's not bad. Reduce effect of virus damage. Okay. Agile legs, speed plus four, that's nice. But armor 10 is not so good. And Venom Torso. Accuracy plus 20. What, 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 what? And two extra speed. And has the ability to launch a poison spike at the target. Okay. Well, a couple of interesting new researches. Isabel could get a second class at Manticore 4. That's the team that we're currently looking at. So we wanted Manticore 4 to be like a little bit of a special team, if I recall. So I'll, I'll wait and we come up with a bit, bit more crazy builds. Again, Kitsu here is waiting for the new class. which would be a priest and then we can modify her head got modifications on every single other character relatively straightforward which brings us to one decor three anthony silent toes bows for whatever reason, really got already level six. That is great. I like Onslaught. It's a good ability, but I also like Psychic Ward. And I like Induced Panic. Yeah, that's not bad. It's a passive effect, a good one. Okay, what I was about to say is this was the team that we are currently like modifying. Incy Vinci got her modification. We can clearly see Anthony also got his modification. Backbiter did not have his modification yet. Russell has hit, had his and Vanessa would get a modification soon-ish. Same deal I think with waiting for an X class, right? Right, and then we wanted to modify her. Which sort of brings us to mutating you. Mutation prevents the use of two-handed weapons. No, 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 that's not good. Hmm. I mean, starting with extra accuracy never hurts. We can, could start with that. Oh cool, finally an appropriate Murphy. Mind Sense or Field Medic. I think Field Medic is more important. Oh, and that one would be huge. Extra healing and willpower, which is great for him as a class. So, that's actually a really nice ability for his combination. He already has fast use, so healing only takes one action. And now it, he can even restore body parts. 
plus on top of it his healing um, the de uh, deals or oh, is uh, healing 30% more and we got him some extra will points that's a great combination good character just needs more experience overall And these abilities are all really, really cool. So finally we got a better weapon for you. There you go. Now you have something that you're proficient with. Congratulations, my dude. And um, I think we're just getting rid of that redeemer. Good, slightly overloaded, but uh, he has the right. He has a good amount of equipment. I like what I'm seeing. Anyways, back to our mutation. Where we do not have enough mutation to mutate uh, Kyle here completely, and I want to do it in one go. The legs and the torso. Still, in my perspective, the best combination for a sniper. Uh, gets a decent amount of uh, to hit. This here would be great if it wouldn't uh, disallow two-handed weapons, but these two together, absolutely fantastic. And then a decent head, that's good. Team number four, on the other hand, kind of the new team. They will be the fun team, the one where I will come up with a couple new ideas, builds that we haven't had so far. Got one more laser sniper that's not bad because they are highly accurate uh, just double checking prime team does have laser snipers already grill Euler does not have one yet, which means we should definitely change that. Okay, much better. That way we are even more accurate. Not sure if we need extra ammunition, to be honest. He's seldomly shooting with uh, his assault rifle. All right, very well. We sidetracked a little bit, more than a little bit. Uh, we're not yet ready to mutate the team number four that's definitely not ready yet um, but the team is almost yeah, ready to go back into action so i wonder what are we going to do with them just letting them sit around not a good idea Not a good idea. Hmm. Do we have any missions here? Yeah, not really. I, I shouldn't say that there is one over here. But can team number three do antediluvian ruins? Or would that be asking too much of them at the moment? Uh, what do we have for armor penetration? Well, we do have a lot of berserkers. Yep, 
yeah we just don't have the arms yet and not enough turrets oh gosh that would be a painful mission do i really want to do that i don't know what did we free up living crystals lapidary it's a processing site whatever that means we're still not getting more but it seems there are maybe resource sites and processing sites but i don't understand the difference yet because this year says resource site. Hmm, okay, so let me think. What are what are missions that we could do? I mean we could just start robbing our allies, but uh that's not a good idea. I don't like the idea. There are no attacks on any havens here, nothing that we can destroy. The only thing that is available are these antediluvian ruins. And we would have two aircraft, so eight people to go through it. I mean, I could give it a try, I suppose. I guess we could try it. Good, we're flying down here. Trade uh, that. Up here. I was about to trade. Very good. Seventeen hours. Oh, we're way ahead of t uh, schedule. Which means we're just trading here really quickly. And once we defended that. I would uh, love to do all of those missions with the A-Team. Now, back to what we wanted to do here originally. Before I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, Haven Info. Could get a priest. Or just a normal assault. I think we're just taking a normal assault. Wait a second. Because this is for team number five and I'm just uh, looking through them. They already got all of their support staff, so... Yeah, we should be fine. Flying to here. Personal, um, Phoenix Point. Off to the Manticore. We got Bar Barbour here, still defending us. Mean In the meantime, level four, still like the equipment and the guy should see some action. Just don't have the team for him at the moment. All right, at Fort Geld, our operatives witness lighter side of New Jericho Haven, where they are invited to juggle local cooking contest, cooking post-apocalypse is a difficult task, especially if you actually want it to be tasty, but that brings our people's initiate creativity, human beings like a challenge. Okay. Super good. And we got uh, Jericho's attitude up for merely a little bit of food. Additionally, 
These guys want to trade, which I really appreciate. Good, and as far as I'm concerned, there's really not that much up here. Well, you know what? There's something up there. And that might be worth doing it. So, base info here. Tiamat needs to regain stamina. And once that is done, we are on our way to this mission. Explore all of that, to all the way down to Phoenix R&D 9, and from here extend all the way to here. So that's a good idea. Under the Luvian ruins, we are coming. And we're definitely trading a lot. Just getting some money on the way. Okay, we're still having 14 hours, that's not enough to fly somewhere down and back. Just gotta deal with what we have here and we'll let them rest. Trade 2 for 10 is not great, this might be better. Complete. Construction of mist repeller complete in Alaska snow. I like that. Whilst we're here, South America. Let's do a mist repeller here. And a mist repeller here. It's just eating up the resources once sucks but uh we will be very happy with all of that mist going away making it much 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 more easy as and when we're uh, having the full kind of mist uh, removal you can already see here this was all shit before we started to let the mist repeller do its magic Good, we're getting a little bit of food. We're getting material back. And we're taking more food. Research complete. Scanning range is increased by 25%. Advanced weapon tech, new armor piercing gauss tech. I like it. Our understanding of Pandoran waves could be used to disrupt uh, Pandoran, Pandoran attacks on havens are disrupted, preventing damage or casualties until four hours after attacks are detected. Uh, that is really good. Arguably even better than medical nanites.
Code's starting to explore. We're trading. Eh, uh, not really. Has Sendorian um, Citadel has been discovered and we're up for grabs in four hours so yeah we're going to hit them really hard and then we're going to hit them really hard again. The A team will be plenty busy. Operators have discovered military depot that could hold highly valuable supplies for our course. However, building is overgrown with an enormous mutated pupil Olympus and they appear to be multiplying exponentially. Facility will soon be covered. So many layers of limpets that drilling through their shells will be nigh on impossible. Let's do it while we can. Purification grenades. Great. Bulldog. Cyclops. Decipher. Uh, Deceptor MG. Okay, wait a second. What is all of that? Um, so we got purification grenades. Yes. Uh, Deceptor is the heavy weapon and Bulldog was uh, that normal shotgun. Yeah, um, no shotgun, assault rifle. Okay, cool. By the way, this here can hardly imagine that that's the best weapon we do have available. Try this and get and stop doubting. Uh, all of that looks okay. Rang still has in a new shotgun, which is funny to a degree because I think I've not used it in ages. Yeah, we have plenty of weapons uh, for the ones that will need additional equipment. So we're actually doing relatively well. Good, three hours and then we're ready. As if I would have guessed it. Guess who's going there. Okay, cool. Look guys, we have a lot of uh, great missions ahead of us. It was a bit of time of scanning for once, but boy boy, are we ready for missions. Um, One last double checking. The TMA2 guys are still regenerating. Just out of curiosity. Bases. Living quarters. Okay, they are having energy, so we're Gucci. Just takes a while for them to re regain uh, their their stamina I suppose they are at 22 I know that they had less so it's going up okay I still have forgotten to actually get one of uh, these guys it's a bit of a shame 
This here would have been another Berserker. If we could shift from Phoenix Point over to uh, America, that would be easy. I would instantly do it. Anyway, so we have... Uh, mm, because just for my train of uh, thought, we're trying to build up team number five in America and we do have a level four assault here. And I tell you what, maybe we're doing it. Who knows? Maybe we, I, I'm actually flying over um, and just take the guy uh, with me. It's entirely possible. Or the other way around that we leave team two and three to deal with everything over here and we're taking all of the newbies and bring them over here and team number one will then just yeah do whatever it takes fly wherever we need to go it seems like four teams can pretty solidly uh, cover most of uh, the map we just need a lot of aircrafts for that currently we're fine we we still have room for more aircraft so what i was about to say is we have a couple of good missions coming up this here should be a tough and long drawn out mission the fight for the the antediluvian runes this here is going to be a fun one because i'm hoping to capture quite a few pandorans in it uh, but this will happen first and then we do have a haven defense mission not uh, long in the future and afterwards we have quite a few cool missions down here so actually more to come i'm excited that the story is finally like going a little bit uh, further so stay tuned and uh, be vigilant and if you're really vigilant think about clicking that like button in all of your vigilance vigilancy and see you in two days bye bye